4 o'clock in the morning and I'm in my car to make this video. What does that say about me as a person that I get an idea in my head and I absolutely have to post it on the internet so I'm going to go to whatever means necessary to record it? My roommate is asleep in the living room, his wife is asleep in her bedroom with the door open, and my girlfriend is asleep on the bed, so all the probable places of recording with a light source have been nullified, so I had to come up with one. Here I am in my car. I can speak freely and without concern about the light source disturbing somebody's pleasant slumber. I've got to be up and in an interview at 11 o'clock today, and I told you it's 4 a.m., excuse me, 4.30 in the morning, so that's how to tell you what's been going on. I've been up all night. Chatting on Stickam, and for those of you that have had the, the uh, distinct privilege of talking to me on Stickam, I apologize. I tend to get long-winded and verbose, and I digress um, in multitudes on whatever topic that I happen to be expounding upon. So I apologize to anybody who has actually had to be afflicted by that. And I only hope that you glean something from my ramblings. But... Um, after talking a lot tonight, and I did do a lot of talking, I stumbled across a concept, and, I, and thus I turned to you folks in the YouTube community because I'm asking you to take a part in this with me, if you're interested. Uh, yes, the interviews are coming. I'll be getting to them, I promise. Uh, but, uh, the, the concept that I wanted to work on is, I want those of you out there that are, uh, philosophically inclined to be the ones that are listening to what I'm about to suggest... I want to do a compilation. I want to do a compilation with groups of people um, in the purpose of compiling a modern philosophy. Uh, the schools of philosophical thought were appropriate in the context of developing the process of philosophical thought, but all of the uh, worlds that those, those particular schools of thought are attached to are long gone. The world that we live in now has mutated so vastly from anything that the world could ever have been conceived of at that time that we need a new philosophy. We need a new philosophy and we need people to, to start thinking in new ways. The world that we live in now is twisted and corrupted and, and, and um, stretched in directions and, and, and dimensions that uh, are confounding. And... I've realized by talking to a bunch of different people that my experiences in life and the, the things that I've had to deal with have formed my philosophy in life. And I want to see what others think. So I want to, what my idea was, to assemble an iconic philosophy book, series of statements, I don't know. But we live in a society where we have iconic archetypes. Archetypes. I like to call them archetypes. <laughs> um, archetypes. <laughs> um, that there's a face that can be put with this ideology from each of these groups. And I feel that perhaps representatives of these groups can have a philosophy that, rep that, that is part of that and add it to a larger philosophy. Plus, I'd like the opportunity to talk to people and see how they view the world. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. Maybe write a book. You know, I don't, I don't exactly know. Compile something. But uh, that is what I was thinking of doing. So if you're interested in being involved in this, hopefully we can get into a discussion about it. I'd like it to be a little bit more than simply just sending back, back and forth messages. Hey, that's great. I'd like to have an opportunity to sit down with everybody in Stickam that would be interested in doing this. Or some sort of verbal chat program that we could all sit down and talk and exchange ideas. I'd really like to be able to do that. So, um, yeah, let me know. You can find me on Stickam under Raven Laughs. Uh, just look up Raven Laughs, you'll find me. Uh, yeah, alright, that's pretty much where my idea is, folks. That's where my head is. I know it sounds almost egotistical to, to make the statement, but I have to make an attempt, right? I understand that the idea that ego defeats the purpose of f true philosophical thought. Once you bring idea into the world, the idea is corrupted by the intent, rather than the idea itself. But in order for the idea to be given birth, it has to come into the world. So the most I can do is try and guide my involvement in it as much as possible and try to keep it in a direction that I'm comfortable with and hope for the best. So, uh, yeah, that's where my head is, folks. That's my idea. Let me know if you're interested. All right, I guess I will hopefully hear from you all soon.